Example two, a car has moved 200 meter north in five seconds and then 300 meter west in 10 seconds. Um, let's say this is north. So the car moved uh, 200 meter. Okay. And then uh, 200 meters. And then it moved uh, 300 meters. 300 meter west. This is west, let's say. Uh, 300 meter. Uh, the time taken for the initial movement is 5 seconds. Uh, the time equal to 5 seconds. And for the 300 meters, the time taken is equal to 10, 10 seconds. Okay. Uh, so for A, what was the distance traveled by the car? Okay. So the distance traveled by the car obviously is equal to 200 meter plus 300 meters. Uh, okay. Because the distance is equal to the sum of the length of the path traveled by the object. So it's 500 meters. Uh, usually students will have no problem with this. How about B? B, yeah. Uh, what was the displacement covered by the car for the whole journey? Now, displacement is the shortest distance between the two points, uh, the end points and the initial points. Uh, so, uh, so this is the shortest distance, uh, shortest distance. And um, this is 90 degree. Uh, so we can find this the distance between these two points by using Pythagoras theorems. Uh, Pythagoras theorems. So the displacement, the symbol for displacement is S. Uh, so this is displacement. The displacement is equal to the square root of uh, 200 square plus 300 square. Okay. Uh, this is from Pythagoras theorems. Eh? Okay. Pythagoras theorems. And uh, by using your calculator, you should get the answer 361 meter. So this is a displacement. Okay, so displacement is the shortest distance between the initial point and the end point. How about uh, C? Yeah? C. Okay, what was the average speed of the car? Okay, average average speed. The symbol is V. Yeah? Okay, and uh, average speed is equal to the total length divided by the total time taken. So total length divided by the total time. Okay. Um, or total length or total distance. Eh? Total distance travel. Okay. Um, the total distance travel is a 500 meters. So 500 meters. Um, the total time taken is five seconds plus 10 seconds, eh? which is 15 seconds. Okay. The answer is 30. 3.3 meter per seconds. Okay. Then how about D? D. What was the average velocity of the car? Okay. Now velocity, uh, the symbol is still V. Okay. Is equal to displacement divided by the time. Eh? Okay. In this case, the displacement is 361 meters. 361 meter. Okay, and then divided by the time, uh, the total time taken is 5 seconds plus 10 seconds. So it's a 15 seconds. It's the same uh, with this one. Okay, uh, by using your calculator is uh, 24.1 meter per seconds. Okay, so from this example, sir, we learned that distance is the uh, length of the the total length of the path, uh, 200 plus 300, uh, but displacement is the shortest distance between the initial point and the end point, okay? And uh, speed, speed is equal to distance divided by time. So we take distance divided by time, uh, and velocity is equal to displacement divided by time. So we take displacement divided by times. So that's the difference between distance, displacement, and uh, speed and velocity. Now. Uh, for example two, we have not yet complete. Why? We already got the answer A, B, C, D, right? Why we are not yet complete? Now remember, displacement is a vector quantity and also a velocity. Yeah? So therefore, we need to tell 
the directions. Okay, we need to tell the directions of the uh, of the quantities. Eh? Okay, so for B and D, eh, we need to tell the directions. Now, how to tell the directions? Eh? How to tell the directions? Um, let's say we want to uh, measure the directions from the north, and let's say this is the let's say this is the direction. So let's label it with theta. Okay, theta. Um, we can find the directions by using tangents. If you still remember your trigonometries, okay. So we can find the directions by using tangents. So let's write here tangent theta equal to now tangent is equal to the opposite side uh, divided by the adjacent side. Okay, opposites over adjacents. Okay, so it's three hundreds over two hundreds. Okay, and by using your calculator, theta equal to at tangents uh, three hundreds over two hundreds, and you should get the answer fifty six point three degree. So the direction is uh, fifty six. So we put a comma fifty fifty six point three degree west of north okay and this one also okay west of north um, let me write here west of north okay west of north means uh west 56.3 degree west from the north okay west from the north we say west of north okay so always remember when you are asked to tell displacement or velocity uh, you must tell the magnitude and the directions eh? and the directions so if you just tell the magnitudes uh, you only get one mark okay uh, then you are going to lose the mark for the directions eh? so make sure that you must you tell the magnitude and directions eh? for vector quantities such as displacement and velocity